Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, I will show you the solutions to the physics questions of paper 2 of JEE Advanced 2015. I will solve the problems as they appear in code 1. So let's look at the next question. The next question is quite easy. It is related to dimensional analysis. Right. So we are given the potential difference, electric current, permittivity, permeability and the speed of light and we want to find out which equations are dimensionally correct. So there are an infinite number of ways to do these questions. I just like to start out by simple problems which I already know the uh, formulas for. So let's look at option A. Option A says that mu naught i squared is equal to epsilon naught v squared. I'll just try to simplify it a little bit further. We know that mu naught epsilon naught is 1 by c squared. So mu naught is 1 by c squared epsilon naught. So this gives me i naught uh, so this gives me i squared by c squared is equal to epsilon naught squared v squared which give, these are all dimensional equations by the way so which gives me i is equal to c epsilon naught v right v by i is r so we get r is equal to 1 by c epsilon naught now we can I'm just going to write the dimensions for all of them and try to find the answer so R can be given as energy divided by I square because we know that I square R has a dimensions of energy, right? So R is energy by I square. Energy is force multiplied by distance divided by I square. I square will be, excuse me, Q squared by T square, right? We want to find if this is equal to 1 by C epsilon. 1 by C will be meters per second. So basically R by T. And epsilon naught we can get from the standard equation f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q squared by r squared which gives me epsilon naught is equal to q squared by r squared by f right so f f cancel we r squared r squared cancel and uh, Hang on, I'm making some mistake here. Oh yeah, energy is not I square R. Power is I square R. Energy is I square R T. So there will be divided by another T here. Yeah, yeah, so that was a mistake I was making. So this cancels with, we see that this equation is essentially correct. And so option A is correct. If option A is correct, option B has to be wrong because we know that V and I don't have the same dimensions. Let's look at one of options C and D. So let's try to start with option C. In option C, we are given I is equal to epsilon naught CV, right? So that means I can be written as Q by T is equal to epsilon naught. Epsilon naught can be written as Q square by R squared F into V, uh, into C first of all. So C will be R by T multiplied by V potential potential will be F dot R energy by Q I apologize for the space there so Q by Q square will be Q and Q will cancel T and T will cancel F and F will cancel R square and this will cancel so equation C is indeed correct and if equation C is correct equation D has to be wrong so the answer to this question will be option A and C Again, you did not have to particularly start with these equations. You could have started with any equations you wanted. And as long as you don't make any errors, you will get the final answer. Thank you.